Welcome back to Air Land Marine, your premier destination for all things in the air, on the ground, and in the wet stuff. Today we're heading into the world of heavy firepower as we explore a weapon that is to many the bread and butter of battlefield weapons. To those in the know, its sound is unmistakable. The Faithful 50, the BAM, the Maduce, the 50 Cal otherwise known as the Browning 50 calibre machine gun. To many, it's simply referred to as the 50. Whatever the name, it's a weapon with the personality of a straight-faced army drill sergeant. And this machine gun means business. The 50 caliber BMG is a belt-fed, recoil-operated, air-cooled machine gun that has stood the test of time and earned its place in military law. The design has had many designations and is effective against infantry, unarmored or lightly armored vehicles and boats, light fortifications and low-flying aircraft. There are many versions of this legendary weapon, both past and present, all of which arguably deserve their own video. And so today we're going to look at an overview without diving too deep into the specific details of every variant. The story of the 50 caliber BMG dates back to the early 20th century. Initially designed by John Browning near the end of World War I, it was originally intended as an aircraft weapon at a time when machine guns were heavily used and weapons of larger than rifle calibre began appearing on both sides of the conflict, such as the German 13mm anti-tank rifle. This evolution, coupled with thicker armour appearing on the battlefield, further necessitated the need for this new machine gun. The weapon was first tested by the US Army in 1918, and after ongoing testing, the machine gun entered service in 1923 as the M1921, which was essentially a scaled-up version of an older Browning design, the M191730 caliber water-cooled machine gun. Like its predecessor, these early variants were also water-cooled. In 1932, the design was modified again, and this design became known as the M2. The M2 HB version, HB for heavy barrel, was then introduced during World War II and denoted a thicker air-cooled barrel which was adopted to increase barrel life. The added mass and surface area of the heavy barrel compensated somewhat for the loss of water cooling while reducing bulk and weight with the M2 weighing in at just 121 pounds or 55 kilograms with the water jacket but only 84 pounds or 38 kilograms with the heavy barrel configuration. Due to the long procedure for changing the barrel, an improved system was also developed called QCB, or Quick Change Barrel. A lightweight Army Navy version of the Browning M2, prefixed ANM2 light barrel, was also developed. Weighing in at 60 pounds or 27 kilograms, it became the standard 50 caliber aviation machine gun of World War II across all American military aircraft of nearly every type, in both the crew served and fixed configuration, as well as on other sea and land based applications. You may have seen the M2 featured in old World War II footage on vehicles such as US Army Willis Jeeps and half tracks, as well as seeing the light barrel version on aircraft of the time, such as heavy bombers like the famous B 17 Flying Fortress.
Further to this, in the late 1940s and 1950s, the later, faster-firing, electrically feed-boosted AN-M3 was used on fighter jets as a fixed weapon until it was replaced with 20mm cannons. The 50 caliber Browning continued to see action in Korea and other theatres, in both aircraft, tripod, anti-aircraft and vehicle-mounted configurations. Over the years, the 50 caliber Browning machine gun has undergone continuous improvements and upgrades to enhance its performance and keep up with evolving battlefield requirements. These enhancements have ensured that the weapon remains a formidable force, capable of delivering an accurate and devastating hail of bullets whenever called upon. As of 2023, General Dynamics, US Ordnance and Ohio Ordnance Works Incorporated, along with Belgium-based FN Herstel or Fabrique Nationale, are all current manufacturers of this venerable weapon. Continuing its evolution, the M3 is only a slight modification of the M2 Browning Airborne machine gun, which has an increased rate of fire from 850 rounds per minute to 1300 rounds per minute. The M3 is primarily used by the US military in two versions. The M3P is used in a fixed mount and remotely operated via a solenoid trigger. This version can be fitted to helicopters and fixed wing aircraft, as well as vehicles such as the Avenger anti-aircraft system. The other version, the M3M, features a flexible mount and is used in crew-served configurations on helicopters, but can also be fitted to vehicles, boats and ships. The M3M flexible machine gun has been adopted by the US Navy under the designation GAU-21A, along with the US Marine Corps and US Air Force. The GAU designation refers to Gun Aircraft Unit, and as stated, this variant is primarily associated with rotary wing platforms. The GAU-21 development was driven by the need for a reliable and powerful machine gun capable of providing suppressive fire and engaging both ground and aerial targets effectively. Incorporating advancements in design, materials and functionality, the GAU-21 incorporates modernised components and systems, enhancing its overall performance along with its increased ammunition capacity and impressive accuracy, which is thanks to an advanced recoil mechanism and the use of a soft mount which minimises muzzle climb. This allows for more precise and controlled bursts of fire, even during sustained engagements. As such, the GAU-21 is capable of providing accurate defensive firepower ranging out to nearly 2,000 meters, and this is supported by an 1100 RPM rate of fire. As with all Browning 50 calibers, each of these versions can make even the toughest opponents think twice about their life choices. As a result, both the M3M and GAU-21 are seeing a wider adoption by armed forces around the world, with the M3P being used in other specific applications and platforms as required. While the M3M and GAU-21's reputation for reliability, versatility and lethality are now making them the preferred choices for many military operations, it's important to note that, along with the M3P, these machine guns all share a common heritage and are highly effective and lethal weapons. While still sharing some of the same basic specifications and characteristics as the M2, these modern day variants represent an upgraded and modernised version of this legendary weapon, but now fire at twice the rate of the original M2 system at 1100 rounds per minute via a mechanically boosted feed mechanism. They also feature a longer 10,000 round barrel life, which is a significant increase in the 3,000 round barrel life on the M2. Blending capability with versatility. Whether it be the M2, the M3, or any of their variants, they can all easily be adapted for different platforms, making them a favourite among various branches of the military around the world. Whether mounted on a helicopter door, a naval vessel, an armoured vehicle, or simply on a tripod, they deliver reliability, accuracy and a deadly rain of firepower wherever they go. Now let's talk about ammunition. All BMGs fire the mighty 50 caliber Browning machine gun cartridge. The .50 BMG round is a standard service cartridge for NATO forces as well as many non-NATO countries. The cartridge itself has been made in many variants with multiple generations of regular ball, tracer, 
armor-piercing, incendiary, and saboted sub-caliber rounds. This ammunition is known for its ability to penetrate armor and deliver a devastating impact on targets. And, because these rounds are made into a continuous belt using metal links, it allows the machine gun to be fed with an ammunition belt holding up to 500 rounds. This allows for continuous fire without the need for frequent reloading, delivering sustained, suppressive fire or precise targeting of high-value targets. Over its 91 years of service, the Browning 50 caliber machine gun has gained a reputation for durability and reliability, proving its worth in numerous conflicts and operational theatres around the world. From its widespread use in World War II and Korea, to supporting ground troops in Vietnam, to providing close air support during the Gulf War, Afghanistan and beyond, this machine gun has made its mark on military history. Today, the 50 caliber BMG continues to serve with distinction, and its reliability and effectiveness have made it a trusted companion for military personnel in armed forces around the world. Its proven track record, coupled with its adaptability and firepower, make it an invaluable asset in modern warfare. Capable of neutralizing both enemy personnel and light armored vehicles with ease, its high muzzle velocity and devastating impact make it a formidable weapon on the battlefield. I certainly wouldn't want to be stood on the wrong side of one of them. Since its first introduction, it has undergone a few changes, although the basic action of the weapon system has remained the same. As with any weapon, advancements in technology may lead to development of newer, more advanced systems that may someday replace the BMG. But for now, its variants continue to stand tall as an emblem of firepower and versatility. Given its continued prowess on the battlefield, it's no surprise that the 50 Cal is still one of the world's most widely used heavy machine guns. Today's BMGs are a testament to the enduring legacy of the Browning 50 caliber machine gun family. Its history is etched in the annals of military firearms, a symbol of reliability, power and the unwavering dedication of those who wield them. That wraps up our overview of the 50 caliber Browning machine gun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more captivating content to come. Also, don't forget to comment on anything that you liked or to tell me what you'd like to see in future videos. Until the next time, remember to stay adventurous, stay curious and keep exploring with Air Land Marine.